the red uh, bar represents planned workforce cuts for the next uh, for the next six months. So companies, percentage of companies that have planned workforce cuts uh, over the next six months. And the blue represents uh, actual workforce cuts in over the previous six months. So uh, a little bit of a glimmer of hope here that we can see, um, especially in the US and especially actually in Asia, where we can see that uh, the percentage of companies that uh, you know, are planning workforce cuts uh, over the next six months has declined uh, quite significantly, most significantly, as compared to uh, those companies who actually did carry out workforce cuts. So potentially some signs here that uh, you know, the, uh, the worst in terms of uh, workforce cuts is, uh, is, is over and uh, this is a declining trend now. Overall, uh, again, this survey was conducted and completed in May 2009. 58% of companies have planned workforce cuts over the remainder of the year. But uh, I think some good news is that only 5% are planning very deep workforce cuts. Uh, so, uh, and of course, uh, approximately a third of organizations are saying that they plan to hire talent to replacement levels only, whereas 15% uh, expect overall workforce reductions and 12% are expecting to expand their workforces in 2009. So that's a bit of, uh, bit of uh, a few of the results on uh, the talent, talent management side. And I think uh, let's uh, move on to the compensation side. So what, what trends uh, do we see coming in uh, from compensation strategies at companies, organizations? And uh, I think uh, the trend that we see is that organizations are tending to freeze pay levels or prefer, they're uh, tending to prefer freezing pay levels or deferring pay increases uh, over actually implementing pay cuts. So that's, uh, that's some good news for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, uh, the HR function. In the past six months, 51% of companies froze salaries at 2008 levels for at least part of their employee population. Whereas 32%, uh, about a third, uh, froze pay enterprise-wide across the company. Only 30% uh, deferred uh, 2009 pay increases, and only and just uh, even even fewer, 13% uh, decreased uh, salaries from 2008 levels. In general. The, the mix between, we see an equal mix between companies who are looking to retain their compensation budgets at 2008 levels with uh, companies who are looking to increase uh, compensation, compensation budgets and companies who are uh, looking to reduce their compensation budgets. So we see about a third of uh, you know, the population in each of those categories. Moving on to retirement and health benefits, uh, what we see is that 73% uh, of organizations globally do not plan to reduce the level of employer contributions for the remainder of the year. A third of all companies, however, are reviewing their overall investment lineups. Uh, you know, both uh, investment and administrative fees, and 43% uh, are likely to take these actions by the year end. So, you know, most, uh, substantial majority of companies have either reviewed or are going to review their, uh, their health and benefits uh, strategies, uh, you know, this year. There's a clear move towards uh, defined benefit uh, plans, 37% uh, of uh, companies, uh, of respondents have already uh, used, began to explore uh, defined benefits uh, schemes and you know, a, third are, a third are saying that they are planning to, to do the same. Looking ahead, uh, organizations are 
more likely to look at uh, reducing the investment risk on, uh, on their health benefit schemes rather than necessarily uh, reducing the funding levels. So that's a trend that we see. And uh, some good news is that 94% of uh, all respondents have not eliminated any uh, current health and group benefit programs to control expenses this year. And uh, I think uh, that last point is that we, that we see that organizations have recognized that people in recessionary and challenging times uh, tend to uh, make use of uh, their benefits, uh, benefit schemes and benefits uh, allowances uh, more so. So, you know, we see that 29% of companies have added wellness, wellness programs uh, and another 38% uh, reported they are likely to do so. Uh, another dimension that uh, was included in the survey was to do with employee attitudes. And over here we see uh, some of the top employee concerns reported by uh, the respondent organizations uh, from the survey. And uh, right up at the top of that, uh, not surprisingly, 50% uh, reported job security as, uh, as the top uh, employee concern in today's uh, in today's challenging environment. The other challenges that featured very strongly were merit increases. So, you know, people worried about uh, whether, uh, you know, uh, good performance would be rewarded uh, uh, given, given, the, given uh, uh, the, the sort of more difficult uh, operating environment in their companies. Uh, retirement plan investments, so people worried about their pensions. Uh, and, of course, the overall impact, uh, that also featured as a very uh, important concern. The overall, overall impact being uh, employees concerned about what, what the overall impact uh, of the economic recession would be on their company. I think this is uh, a recommendation at the same time, in, uh, you know, given within the survey, that organizations that communicate openly and foster collaboration and innovation among their workforce will benefit most once the economy, economy recovers. So as I suppose the recommendation really is that in these times, uh, you know, employees need to be communicated to you know, very, very regularly in order to address, uh, address some of their concerns. So I'll just uh, summarize uh, some of the key findings that we, that we uh, went through. Uh, the objective of uh, this short presentation was not necessarily to, you know, uh, go through all of the detailed sort of results of the survey. In fact, uh, the survey is, uh, can be made available to anyone interested, uh, uh, you know, uh, but I think the idea was more to, you know, uh, prompt uh, some, some, uh, some discussion, uh, you know, um, so that uh, in the next uh, 60 minutes, you know, we can have uh, some useful debate around this, around this uh, uh, subject. So if I just summarize the key points that I, that I looked at, 82% uh, of uh, companies responding said that they expect business performance to decline. But having said that, uh, most companies have refrained from taking severe and broad-based steps, such as very deep workforce cuts, across-the-board salary freezes, or elimination of certain healthcare, uh, health and benefit, uh, health benefit programs. Uh, again, 58% of respondents expect to make uh, some reduction in their workforce. However, 37% uh, will continue to hire key talent, even as they even as they reduce their overall workforce. And uh, another another interesting uh, uh, finding that that emerged was that. Uh, the HR function continues to be under cost pressure, and 21% of organizations surveyed 